Hello there and welcome to the Bearded Peacock, it's my channel where we talk all things Legion, I am of course George. Welcome on to the channel everybody and it's a match reaction of yesterday's 1-1 one, one draw against Plymouth Argyle. Fellow championship side Plymouth were at Ellen Road yesterday. It finished in a dreaded replay didn't it, we have to go to Plymouth. I think the date has been yet to be decided. But it's certainly not what we wanted, it's probably not what Plymouth want either, is it? They're focusing on securing their championship status. We're, of course, wanting to get out of the the division the other way in in, in terms of promotion. Wasn't really what neither side could do with going down to Plymouth on a midweek. It'll be a midweek, won't it? Uh, it's not ideal for the fans. You know, the players, they that's what they deal with. They, they have to go there anyway in a few weeks anyway, don't they? Again... Sort of is it end of February? We we play them anyway away at, at home park. Another day added to that, and it's um it's it ended one each. Ellen Road, a game that we should have won, a game that I felt confident that we would win. Uh, six changes from from the start from the from the game uh, from the win over Norwich on Wednesday. Obviously, I thought he'd make a few changes. I think the the team was still pretty strong, strong enough to 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 beat that team at, at Ellen Road. Um, as it turned out, it was very dominant the first half. I thought Plymouth start the game pretty brightly the first three or four minutes. Past that, there was absolutely nothing for Plymouth. Um, Leeds dominated the ball. They had more than enough chances to, to be two or three up, maybe even more than that, and um, just didn't really didn't really take them. And, 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 and a few players, a few of the fringe players, a few players that have found themselves out of the team in terms of, say, Yo Perot, um just didn't stake a good enough claim and, and, and you can see why Patrick Bamford is 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 overtaking him in terms of starting in the in the championship. So yeah, you know, look, I mean it's a draw, you know, the the, the unbeaten run if you like goes on. I mean, don't really count the FA Cup. I mean let me know your thoughts on the FA Cup in the comments there below. But I'm not a big fan of the FA Cup really. We're never gonna win the FA Cup. Uh, look at the draw. I mean, if we if we beat Plymouth away, we've got either Chelsea or Aston Villa away. They drew nil nil on Friday night at Stamford Bridge, so you know what's the point? We're never going to win the cup. Um, for me, it's a little bit of a of a distraction. I must admit, uh, and a little bit of something that we don't really need, particularly these replays. Just scrap them. You know what I mean? Go. Why can't you what do like the the Carabao Cup does and just go straight to penalties? And settle it on the night. Nobody wants a replay, particularly when it's all the way down to Plymouth. No disrespect to Plymouth or anybody from Plymouth, but it's a long, long way to go for any team. Really, um, it's something like a seven, seven hour drive or something like that. Like I said, the the, the fan, in, you know, the players will be fine. It's the fans that I feel for that are having to go down there. But that's that's what it is, isn't it? The team didn't do enough, and and you know, fair play to Plymouth because they they hung in. And and they got themselves a replay, which is probably what they what they could have the best they could have hoped for, really, because they were absolutely nowhere near it first half. Leeds were absolutely thrashing them, but like I said, you, you've gone have you know touched on players that didn't do themselves any any good. Um, another one you could add to that is Willie Nonto, who just looked lethargic, looked looked like he was running in you know quicksand or, or not quicksand sort of looked like he was running in like treacle or, or or just mud every single time he got the ball there was the same with a few of them um and, and willing on for me that one when he hits the bar he wasn't he wasn't on his toes if you're on your toes we score he scores he puts us one nil up and then i think we go on and win that comfortably but he didn't jay nanty hit the post he just wasn't alive to the rebound and and he ends up hitting the bar. The goalkeeper saves it onto the bar. It was a lovely, lovely goal from from Jay Nanny to put us one 0 up just after the half hour. Obviously dedicated to his mum, which is a really nice touch. And everybody, you know, is with Jay. Uh, difficult time for him, but you know, I thought he did all right in that game. And it was a lovely moment for him. Fantastic goal as well. Better than just scoring a tapping, wasn't it? It was. It was one of them where he danced through the defence and put it in the bottom corner. Lovely goal. Um, you know, and obviously the referee. <laughs> Some sometimes you've just got to turn a blind eye. Surely you can, it, it clear as day reads. You can see the message on his shirt. Why'd you have to book him? Have a day off. You know what I mean. But that rule is a bit outdated for me. 
anyway um but yeah look we didn't press home the advantage um we had chances even after that i think and 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 all of the ball it was a bit of a stroll in the second half i think the in the first half sorry i think the second half they came out and thought it was already won didn't didn't do much enough at all in the in the second half to win the game and then obviously we we get the moment that Plymouth had been you know you'd given them encouragement time and time again with a, a string of corner kicks and they start to believe then don't they they start to believe and start to think oh hang on we've got a chance here and and that's what they did and and, and they should have maybe scored before they even scored Sam Byron cleared one off the line it was comfortably cleared off the line but it was it was heading in the net that 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 looping shot was. Um, and then is it Randall, their, their lad, Jamie Shackleton, who again was poor, and I don't think he did himself any favours. Not that he would be anywhere near the team, I don't believe anyway. But not not good enough from him. He was way up the pitch, and he loses the ball, and and then he's suddenly out of position, and they can break, and they see it. Where the heck is Sam Byram on the other side as the ball is passed to Randall? It's a nice finish. Um, you know, through the think through the legs of Melier, but Melier again was really poor, really slow uh, uh, his, with his dis- distribution, really poor with his distribution as well. When he eventually kicked the ball, chipping it to them, chipping it out of play, really, really poor. Just looked like he couldn't be asked, and it, you know what I mean. It was it was just a poor, poor day at the office. Really, Leeds should have hammered home their advantage, and 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 they didn't. We just didn't. We didn't do it. Didn't do it, and and. <laughs> We ended up with a draw and, and we, we go to Plymouth whenever we go to Plymouth. I reckon it'll probably be maybe in between the Bristol and is it Rotherham game the midweek between then? I don't know. I don't know really when it'll be, but who knows. But let me know if you're going down to Plymouth, if you, if you plan to go down there. Crikey. It's a difficult place to play as well. They've got to collect a lot of championship points there as well this season. But we've got to go again with in league action again it's friday night it's another big game against bristol city so let's go for them get get his heads back on it um you know get the the top team out get a couple of new additions in before now and then i'll be updating everybody on that if and when that happens um but no news really as of yet there was some this afternoon or this morning but then it quickly got uh, squashed and luton town seemed to be after the man that seemingly looked like, if reports to be believed, he was on his way to Leeds. Looks like he's on his way to Luton. So we'll see what happens in the week. It's deadline day on Thursday. For me, we need more more bodies in. And definitely, you know what the areas are. Let me know the comments below how you thought the Plymouth game went and who you would like to see come into the team, where you'd like to see us strengthen in the final few days of the transfer window. Thanks a lot for watching. March on together as always. I'll see you on the next one.